Every year, Minakshi invests 20% of her annual salary in PPF and spends 30% of her annual salary on rent. Every month, she spends 20% and 15% of her monthly salary on groceries and travelling respectively. After paying the mentioned expenditure, including rent, she puts her remaining amount in the bank as savings. In a year, she is able to put 1,79,760 in the bank as savings. If she invests in PPF from her annual savings at once, what is the amount she invested in PPF? So basically, he's talking about Minakshi who invests 20% of her annual salary in PPF, right? PPF supposedly is the public provident fund here, right? And then spends 30%, 30% of her annual salary, 30% of her annual salary on rent. Every month, she, she spends 20% and 15% of her monthly salary on groceries and traveling respectively. Now, after paying the mentioned expenditure, including the rent, mentioned expenditure, including the rent, would be not groceries, traveling, and uh, including the rent right including the rent after doing all these expenditures she puts her remaining amount in the bank as savings right she puts the remaining amount in the bank as savings now in a year she is able to put 1,79,760 1,79,760 in the bank as savings look at the last part of the question if she invests in ppf from her annual savings at once what is the amount she invested in ppf what is the amount she invested in PPF? Now, let me tell you what most of you would do to solve this question. See, we know that after paying all those expenditures including the rent, she has put the remaining amount in the bank as savings, which comes out to be 1,79,760. Now, how much is the expenditure? She has spent, you know, 20% on PPF. See, one point to be noted is 20% of annual salary would mean 20% of monthly salary. 30% of annual salary is invested on rent means what? Every month 30% is invested on rent. I mean, every month 30% is the rent. You are able to follow. Since it is in percentage terms, you don't have to worry about annual or monthly calculations there. 20% of annual salary is 20% of monthly salary per month in PPF. Similarly, 30% of our annual salary is going in rent means what? 30% of our monthly salary is going in rent. So, don't get confused with that monthly and uh, annual expenditures points there. Because when he starts talking about groceries and traveling, he has mentioned monthly salary. Every month, she spends 20% on groceries, which means annually she spends 20% on groceries. Every month, she spends 15% on traveling. So, if you take the whole year also, it will come out to be 15% of yearly salary, annual salary. So, no confusion with respect to annual or monthly salaries here. So, we know that 1,79,760 has been put in bank as savings. What are the expenditures before that? 20% in PPF. 30% in rent, 20% in you know groceries and 15% traveling. Find out the total. 20 plus 30 plus 20 plus 15. How much is this? Uh, 50, 70, 85. 85 percentage is spent. 85 percentage is spent. Implies 15% is remaining. 15% is remaining. Which is equal to the savings. Because whatever she is left with, she I mean the remaining amount, is put in the bank as savings. So, we can say that 15% of total salary is savings. Now, in a year, she is able to put 1,79,760 in bank as savings. So, can I say 15% of her salary is equal to 1,79,760? Yes. If 15% is 1,79,760, the question is, uh, how, what is the amount she invested in PPF? What is the amount she has invested in PPF? How much has been invested in PPF? 20%. 20 percentage is in PPF, right? So, if 15 percent is 1,79,760, 20 percent is equal to what? Cross multiply. This is savings calculation. This is the PPF equation. So, 15 percent is 1,79,760. 20 percent is equal to what? Can you cross multiply? You get this question mark as what? I think this is three parts, like 1,79,760 is three part. So, four parts. See, if you see 15 and 20, the ratio is 3 is to 4. So, I can say 3 parts is 1,79,760, 4 parts is equal to what? So, if I say approximately 1, I mean 1,80,000, 4 parts will be 2,40,000. Here it is minus 240, minus 240 will become minus 320. So, so it will be 2,40,000 minus 320. So, that, that comes out to be 2,39,680, right? 2,39,680. Look at the options 1, 2, 3, 4. So, option 5 is the answer, right? 2,39,680. This is what all of you have done, which is absolutely wrong. 
answer is not none of this. All those who have got 2,39,680 are wrong. Now you might be wondering why did I do it? If this is wrong, why did I do it? Because I wanted to show you what you have done. I am sure a lot of you have done this and you have marked option 5. This is incorrect. This shows, this solution shows that you did not read the question properly. You did not understand the question properly. Let me highlight something here. She invests in PPF from her annual savings at once. This is the key. In this solution, clearly, nobody had paid attention on this point here. What is the point? She is investing in PPF. How much is she investing in PPF? 20%. But that 20% is coming from her annual savings. You are able to follow. So every month, she puts the remaining amount in the bank as savings. Look at this. She puts the remaining amount in the bank as savings every month. So she saves something in the entire year, right? From that annual savings, she will invest in PPF at once. How much? 20%. 20% of her annual salary, 20% of her annual salary, but this 20% is coming out from the savings that she has done by putting the remaining amount every month in the bank. So if you understand what is the savings that is going, look at this, after paying the mentioned expenditure including rent, she puts her remaining amount in the bank as savings. After paying the uh, mentioned expenditure, what are the mentioned expenditures here? Let, let me use a different color to highlight this, right? The mentioned expenditures here, the mentioned expenditures, right? The mentioned expenditures here are groceries, traveling and rent. We just need to, con you know, consider these three. So rent is 30 percentage, groceries 20 percentage and traveling is 50 percentage. So basically, the point is that expenditure is equal to 30 percent on rent plus 20% on whatever groceries and 15% on traveling. So how much is this? 65%, right? 65% implies the savings is remaining, right? Remaining amount is savings. How much is savings? Out of 100% total is always 100%, right? Out of 100% is 65% is spent, the remaining is 35%. And that 35% goes into the bank and turns out to be 1,79,760 per year. 179760 per year. This is what is given in the question. Then from this 179760, she invests in PPF. You're able to follow. She is investing in PPF not on a monthly basis. She is investing in PPF at once per year. And how is she getting that amount? From the savings that she has made. Now she is not spending 20% of this in PPF. She is spending 20% of her annual salary in PPF. See, 35% of annual salary is 1,79,760. So 20% of that annual salary is equal to what? This is what you need to do. Understand, don't get confused. Don't take 20% of 1,79,760. The point here is she is not spending 20% of her savings. In PPF, she is not investing 20% of her save, uh, you know, savings in PPF. She is investing 20% of her salary in PPF. But that 20% of salary is being taken out from the annual savings. So now when you cross multiply, you get the right answer. So question mark here would be equal to what? 20 into 179760 upon 35. Let's not waste time in doing the calculation. I'm sure you all can do that. The correct answer would come out to be option 3, 1,2720. Right, one lakh two thousand seven twenty. One lakh two thousand seven twenty.